Hey y'all, I'm laying in my bed. The lights are off. I don't feel like getting up. And I was like, let me just go ahead and make this video while I'm thinking about it before I get forget and get distracted. Um, so if you saw my previous video, you know that I said that I failed my fast because I told myself I was gonna do a 14 day fast. Um, and how I didn't feel guilty about failing at it. I went three days strong and I think that's pretty good. Um the reason why I don't feel guilty about it and the reason why I don't feel bad about it is because nobody told me to do it. Nobody forced me to do it. I chose upon myself to do it. And I'm not disappointing nobody. So, um, today is Sunday, September 15, 2024. And um, I'm debating on whether or not I want to try to fast again. Uh, but I don't know. Because I'm still doing, like, I'm still fasting, just not with food, you know? Like, I, I've cut out social media, I've cut out secular music, I've cut out secular anything, pretty much. Uh, Don't really watch TV, never really did to begin with, but I'm staying away from TV shows that I do watch that are considered secular. And when I say secular, it's not, it does not only mean sex, okay? Anything that's not of God is considered secular, if you want to be real. If it's not uplifting, if it's not powerful, if it's not peaceful, if it's not of God, it is considered secular. In my opinion, you can look it up, get your own opinion on what the definition is, but yeah. Uh, so basically, I just want to, I wrote down some stuff, and I don't know if I want to share all of this with y'all, but yeah. I guess I'll just give you a little update. So during this time that I've been fasting, I said I wanted to, you know, get closer to God. I wanted to pray more. I wanted to get into my Bible more. I said that I was going to start, instead of only asking for things in prayer, that I was going to start giving God thanks, showing gratitude and appreciation instead of always just asking for something. And I said I was going to start getting down on my knees, bowing down, and doing that. So I have done that. I'm not looking at the camera because the flash is, like, bright. Uh, <laughs> I've been doing that. And so I found that um, I actually do enjoy praying. So I've always prayed. My, I probably wasn't always consistent, but I've always prayed. And, then when, and when I say consistent, I mean... I wasn't always praying every day, but I would at least pray a couple times a week, especially before I went to bed. But my prayers were always repetitive. They were like the same thing. It was like I was just going through the motions because I felt like I'm supposed to pray because I was taught that you're supposed to pray, not because I actually wanted to pray. Uh, during this time of me fasting, I have found that I actually do enjoy praying. And I get like a feeling that comes over me. I don't get to shouting, hooting, hollering, crying, none of that stuff, okay? It's like an exciting feeling. And and then when I say this, I get that feeling when I'm I'm down showing gratitude. I'm down on my knees and I'm 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 showing gratitude to God, giving thanks to God. That's when I feel it the most. Uh it's like an exciting feeling feeling. Like filling up a cup feeling. And um it just forms my body and more words and more things just start pouring out. It's not like I'm sitting here trying to force myself to pray. It's not like I'm trying to sit here and think about what I want to say. It just comes running out. Uh, so that's that's exciting to know. Um, cause like I said, it was always just a repetitive prayer. Oh, thank you, God, for everything you have done for me. Thank you for blah, 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 blah. Usually the same thing. I might add a little something or take some away. But for the most part, the prayer was the same. I feel like my prayers have more meaning now more more substance to it and not just i'm praying because i was told to pray and i need to pray i also learned that prayer by itself is not enough not all the time sometimes you have to fast and just because you're fasting don't mean you're fasting properly <laughs> okay because you can also waste your time fasting if you're not doing it properly that's with anything like, don't come over here and be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get off social media, you know, or or I'm going to stop smoking. And then you replace it with something else that's taking your attention away from God. The whole point of you fasting is to get closer to God. If you're feeling that with something else, instead of filling that time 
connected with God, then what's the point of even fasting? So, yeah. Um, some other things I wrote down. My patience has gotten a little bit better. It ain't all the way 100% good, but it's a little bit better. I still got some work to do. Uh, my, I, I feel like my laziness has gone away a little bit. I'm still lazy when it comes to some things, but I really don't want to call it being lazy. It's me actually taking time to rest now and not feel like I have to be up doing something all the time. You know? Uh, and now I'm starting to listen to that voice inside my head that's telling me to do things. Because I've been in this place since, what, March? I think I moved into this apartment in March. And, yeah, I keep the house clean. But I haven't really organized and put things away properly, you know? So I took, I've been taking time. And I'm not rushing myself either. Um, and taking my time to slowly organize the house. Like, actually folding clothes, putting them away properly. I'm actually going through the kitchen cabinets and like organizing the spices and the seasonings and the the sauces and the canned foods and the the noodles and everything i'm like organizing everything where they belong or where i see they belong um yeah trying to keep dishes out the sink and i barely use dishes so there's no reason for me to have dishes in the sink like usually i have like a bowl and a spoon in there and it's sitting there for like until the end of the week there's no need for me to have one little bowl sitting in there. Clean them dishes. Even if you just clean them dishes. Um, yeah, so I'm being more productive now. I've been reading more. But I will say I need to get my Bible. Because I've been listening to sermons. I've been listening to podcasts. And I was thinking today. Yeah, it's cool to listen to these things. But everything that I'm listening to is their point of view and their interpretation of what they're reading in the Bible. And everybody gets something different out of reading the Bible, which is why I need to get into the Bible, see it for myself, and, you know, see what I get out of it. And it could be the same as them. You never know. But I can't just take what they say at face value. Like, I need to... I can't just take what they say and just run off with it like it's it like it's for me. I need to read the Bible, sit and think about it, sit and pray on it, and see how it resonates with me and go from there. And if it just so happened to be the same as the people that I'm listening to, that's great and dandy. But I need to do my part. So I do want I think I've read the Bible once since I've been on this fast. So maybe twice. I've been filling most of my time with prayers. Listening to sermons, listening to podcasts, and reading them, re, uh, listening to audiobook. So I'm definitely going to take the time to read my Bible. I I don't think I'm depressed anymore. I know I'm definitely not sad anymore. Um, little things that used to make me angry, or I wouldn't even say make me angry because I'm not really an angry person, but little things that used to irritate me, I don't get irritated on it as much. I just say thank you, Lord. Because the reason why it's happening got to be protecting me from something else. So I try to view things differently. I think I'm more optimistic now. I don't know. This is just the beginning. We'll see what happens. We'll see if I go on another fast. I think the next time I do go on a fast, I won't announce it to the world. And I'm not saying, not, I'm not saying um, you know, don't come on YouTube and be like, hey, yeah, I'm going on a fast. But I mean, like. There's no need for me to tell my coworkers. There's no need for me to tell my friends. I mean, unless we're going on a journey together or like they're just supportive. But if the people around you are not supportive, what? Why are you telling them? Tempt you. Make it harder than it has to be. So, I think next time I'm just gonna keep it to myself. And isolate myself. And because isolation is not a bad thing, and I'm learning that now. Going through this. Isolation is not a bad thing. Isolation helps you get focused on the things that you want and how to, it gives you time to self-reflect to make yourself better. So yeah, I'm trying to view things differently now. Um, I guess that's it. That's the video. <laughs> you know, bye, I guess. <laughs>